This is a Roland Digital Diatonic Accordion. It's the FR18. Um, it's like brand new to me. So we're going to walk you through kinda how to get this thing up and running, um, how to play you know, some of the different features that are on it. So over here on the front, we've got all of our controls. So I'm going to turn this thing on. Oh, right now, this one is plugged in. If you wanted it without the, the electric cord on, it does take batteries. No batteries in it right now, so we're running it with the power cord. And this does not have a speaker built in, so we have it amplified. Um, so I have the cord coming out of that. It does have a couple of different outs, though. So you've got your left and right out, you've got your MIDI out, uh, and your USB MIDI out. Um, I believe another one down there as well. So lots of different options to get the sound amplified out there. Oh, yeah, headphones. Sorry, that's the last one. So over here, um, the default is that this is tuned as a G, C instrument, uh, tuned in G. So here is your G. So as you can see, playing with the volume knob right here so I can crank that right up if I need to. And I have right now the bellows set so they're pretty sensitive. Uh, so light touch, give it a little more air as you will. And just like regular accordion gets louder. Um, that can all be changed though. You can adjust the sensitivity of the bellows in that sense. So right now, like I say, this is actually has a lot of different options you can run through that are built into it. Um, so as it's set up right now, it's more like a Corona system, uh, a three row accordion. You can bring it down to a two row or you can bring it right down to like an organetto with just a single row and be playing it that way. So lots of different options there. Also there's a lot of different sounds built in. So in this one, Let's start here. I can go in and set it so I have a folk accordion. So right now that's what it's set at. Um, so there we go. Now I have all the different registers in the folk accordion. So here we'll start down there. The same accordion, different register. So that's the sound there, the left hand. I can go in and change it to a different style. So here's what they call the ethnic. Again, all the registers there. And in fact, there's even more to that. I can hit the button twice and the light turns red. So I have even more sounds. And then the last one is user. So the nice thing about this is that you can go in and actually adjust how you want it to sound on your computer. Um, and it goes right on the USB, and that'll come back here in a second. So, lots of different options on how you want the thing to actually sound, as far as accordions go. Um, then you can start playing with the other stuff. So, down here below the register buttons, we've got the orchestra button. So I press that, and I have some kind of string sound here. This one apparently plucked. Here it changes volume with how hard I depress the button. So this one's not necessarily lying on the bellows as much for volume. So I can really fuck on it. Um, a banjo sound. Lots of different options there. I also have organ sounds built in. A little tremolo on them. So, lots and lots of different options there. Your left hand also has a lot of different options. So. So depending on the system that you've got, all of these can be on. If I'm playing just the organetto, I've only got four buttons working. 
basically just like a regular organetto all the way up to the full 18. Um, you can also start with messing with the sounds over there. So I can, with my orchestra bass button on the front, change the bass note to get it to sound like different types of bass instruments. So, kind of a jazzy bass thing. The registers over here change the sound of that bass button. So, tuba apparently. I can also change how the chords sound over there. It's a little kind of piano chord sound. So actually right now, there we go. And then I can, with the registers, also change how those sound. Place that in my belief. There we go. So for that, I have to turn on the left register button. My mistake. There's a whole host of different options with that. Uh, so I'll turn those off. This thing also has drums built into it, so you can have a drum set, a bass, a piano, or a guitar, whatever you want, playing along with your accordion, or you can change the whole sound of the accordion and have full orchestra going. So I'll turn on the drums, turn on the bass and the chords, and... and you get that whole effect. So, um, back to the system on your right hand, kind of the melody side of it. Like I said, right now, the default is it comes on as a GC instrument uh, with a bunch of accidentals up here. You can also adjust that. There's 12 different settings for it that it comes programmed with. Uh, the first bunch are different three-row instruments, all starting in the key of G. Uh, so right now, just to demonstrate that, there's your G. If I want to change the key, but keep that same setting, so kind of your typical GC system. Let's say I wanted to do it in AD. I can go down here and press the key button. Right there, that lights up. And then up along the top, there's these silkscreen numbers on here that it has C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, all the way up. I can choose which key I want to be my starting key for it just by pressing the button that corresponds to it. So say I wanted it in A, I'd come up and press A, with button 10 on this. So now it starts on A. <laughs> different, you know, quint box or four step, five step arguments on that. Um, different types of diatonic setups like that, whether fifth apart or fourth apart, depending on who you ask. You've also can change this so it's kind of the Irish half step system. Um, so for that one, I'm going to change this now. So instead of being fourth apart, I'm going to put it so it's just a half step apart. So for that, I've pressed my tablature button, which is just next to the key button. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose button six. So now that puts it as a half step. For that one, um, again, you can change whatever key you want. It seems like the default for it is BC, kind of common for half step system. So you've got that whole system there as well. Uh, so the kind of benefit of something like this especially for performers, is you don't have to carry a bunch of different accordions with you. You have everything built in right here. So if you have a tune that you're playing with somebody in G, you can play your G accordion. If you've got something that's in D, you can play your D accordion. If someone busts out something in B flat, you've got that already right built into this. You don't have to keep switching boxes. Um, and then if you wanted to go into a half-step system, you have all those built in as well. So lots of different options there with that. Um, what else here? I guess I will run through just a couple tunes on these to give you a different sense. Uh, so to switch back to the GC system, I'm going to press tablature, go to 1, and that just puts it back to the, the default GC. I'm going to change the key back to G, so here we go, and then I can just play something on here.
I can change the sound. I can throw in some drums if I want. Um, oh, wrong button. Too many buttons on this. There's the drums. You can also change the drums. Um, so for that, you would go back into settings, and you can change the drums from jazz sound, Latin sound. Um, it's going to the Tarantella sound. I think that's what it's set on now. It sounds like it. Um, so lots of different settings on actually how those drums sound, how loud you want them. Like I said, pretty much anything on this can be adjusted. Volume, bellows response. Uh, and in fact, even the compression of the bellows, you can change the actual manual, physical aspect of how the bellows compress with a little dial over here that lets in, in more or less air just without you pressing a button. So if you like a leaky bellows feel or a slightly less stiff bellows, even that can be adjusted, which is kind of nice. Um, so a lot of, lot of different features that you can tweak to you how you want this thing to perform and exactly what you want to do with it. Uh, so let me uh, put this back into BC here. So there we go, again, tablature, choose which one I want. so I'd want to change those. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. There. Turn them down a little bit so they're not right up in your face. So, pretty simple. You've got your function button here. Press that, hold it. It starts blinking. Uh, here we go. Like so. Go in, choose, I believe, button 8, adjust drum volume. It starts flashing very fast after I press button 8, and then I can test it. So, not too loud, getting louder, getting real loud. So, I'm going to put that back down there, so it kind of puts them in the background a little bit. So, as you can see, again, pretty simple to adjust. Uh, quick couple press of a button, and you've got a different sound going. We saw the different sound, played a little bit, changed the tab, changed the key. Uh, you can actually adjust the tablature to your own setting and load that in as well, so that's one more thing we didn't talk about. Uh, but that all can be adjusted on your own. So if the systems that are programmed in here, you don't like those fingerings, you can even go in and change those. But then the last part is the shift function on here, which allows you to change octaves, it allows you to change, um, put on a metronome if you want, and you can also combine a couple different sounds together. So if you like the sound of a banjo with an accordion, you can have both of those come out of here at the same time. So first we'll do the octaves. So there's that. If I press shift and register one, it brings it down an octave. If I press shift and register two, it brings it back up. And I can go up even higher. So I've got that. I can change octaves, which is a little tricky to do on a regular accordion. Um, the other part is I can turn on this metronome. So you can keep yourself in time. And then the last part is that I can, when I enter the orchestral mode, right now I've got a marimba, but if, let's say I wanted to play my accordion along with that marimba, I press the shift button and the fourth register button. And I get my accordion along with it. So you can have all those things going on at once, and you can go through the orchestral stuff, change the sounds that you want, do it with an organ. So have the accordion and the organ playing together, whatever you'd like. So overall, a lot of different options you can have with this. 
um, saves you from having to lug around a lot of different accordions. You really have a whole band here if you want it. So, nice instrument, nice playing.